Good morning, everybody. Thank you for being here. And um, go ahead and get a Bible, if you will. Let's go back to the 119th Psalm. And while you're doing that, um, with your other hand, uh, like and share the post. And so uh, we'll be starting in the 118th verse, Psalm 119, verse 118 today. And the psalmist there <clears throat> says these words, Thou hast trodden down all them that err from thy statutes, for their deceit is falsehood. Um, again, we are still dealing uh, with uh, the section where the psalmist is uh, wrestling with uh, being persecuted by, the only word for it is hypocrites, those who uh, claim to be godly, but um, they're really not living that way and don't like the fact that uh, that he is uh, trying to live uh, godly. And so um, as he comes to this verse in uh, verse 118, uh, he is reminded uh, or recalls, uh, again, the justice of, uh, the righteousness, the judgment uh, of God, uh, that God will ultimately be the judge uh, of these who are persecuting him uh, and him as well. Uh, really, I think what he's saying is, is um, they are judging me, they are um, persecuting me, but the day will come when we will all stand before God uh, and God will uh, show the truth uh, from the faults, and so the double-minded, the the hypocrites, uh, will be uh, revealed. And <clears throat> he says something here uh, that I want to point out to you um, that I think is important. When he says these words, he says, "Thou hast." Um, now I know that's a King James word that um, we don't. Um, I don't know that I've ever heard anybody say the word "hast." <laughs> other than uh, reading scripture. Um, but um, if we were to say that um, in, um, in 2022 uh, English, we would say, you have trodden down all them that err from thy statutes. He, he wrote as uh, if the judgment of God uh, had already uh, been done. And then the phrase trodden down uh, is a phrase that means to set at naught or to uh, set at nothing. Uh, and uh, then he says uh, what, what he's saying is what they have taught, what they're doing uh, is nothing. Uh, what they have, uh, what they're doing uh, is nothing and God's going to uh, make them nothing. And so uh, he says it's already, he said it's as good as done uh, that they will be judged uh, for uh, their, uh, for their, uh, for their decision, for their actions, uh, for the way they have lived, for the way they have treated, uh, the godly people. Uh, he says, thou puttest again, past tense, thou puttest away all the wicked of the earth like dross. Therefore, I love, uh, thy testimony. So again, um, he's stating that, uh, the judgment of these people, uh, has already, uh, been done. Uh, that the, that uh, he's reminded here of uh, of the ultimate destiny uh, of these that um, are um, are of um, are, are persecuting him or coming against uh, God. And he says he's going to get rid of them like dross. And what dross is um, is when you. Uh, heat up gold, when you melt gold, um, the impurities uh, will rise to the top. I used to, uh, when I worked in uh, jewelry and, and, and repaired jewelry, uh, I've, I've seen this a number of times. You take uh, gold and you put uh, the heat to it, um, and the gold, um, there'll be a, a black, um, just a black substance, whatever, uh, will float up on top of, of the of the molten gold. And um, you take and you can take a, 
uh, you know, some a metal pick or something and, and scrape it off. And it's of no value. It's, it, it's not gold. And so he says the, these wicked, uh, that's what their ultimate uh, judgment is going to be. Uh, they're going to be separated uh, from the valuable. They're going to be separated uh, from the true, and they're going to be uh, they're going to be judged uh, for that uh, for that sin. And he says, "My flesh in verse one twenty, fear. My flesh trembleth for fear of thee, and I'm afraid of thy judgments." He says, uh, "I am." aware uh, of uh, your ultimate, uh, that you are the ultimate righteous judge, uh, and because of that, I, I want to live righteously. I don't want to be like uh, these people, the wicked who are going to be judged, and uh, this is a good reminder for us, uh, and uh, I've kind of moved quickly to get through that section, uh, but uh, the principle is this. Uh, the lesson uh, that we have in there uh, is, is pretty straightforward. Uh, when the wicked uh, come against us, when we do uh, come against those who are uh, opposing us for our faith, and uh, as I've said before, I think we'll uh, see that become more prevalent as uh, the world, as time goes on. Uh, what we have to keep in mind um, is that ultimately, eventually, uh, they will face uh, the judgment of God. Now, notice this. Uh, he wasn't happy about it. Uh, he's not rejoicing in that fact, but he is um, just accepting the reality, the, uh, the simple truth uh, that God's judgment, God's wrath uh, will fall uh, on the wicked, uh, on those who uh, oppose Christ, those who come against the church, those who uh, come against Christianity, those uh, in your workplace or even in your family um, who ridicule and come against you uh, for your faith, God uh, will be uh, the ultimate judge. And uh, like the psalmist, it's not something we uh, rejoice in. Uh, it's not something that, uh, that we're happy about, uh, but it's just the simple reality that we know uh, that uh, eventually uh, the day will come when God uh, will separate the wheat from the chaff, uh, the sheep from the goat, those different analogies that the Bible uses, uh, the good from the bad, um, you know, the righteous from the unrighteous, all, all those uh, different phrases we could use, but ultimately uh, the truth will win. Uh, ultimately, righteousness uh, will win. And so while we're not uh, rejoicing, um, in the suffering and the judgment uh, of the ungodly, uh, what we are uh, is uh, putting our hope, uh, putting our confidence, uh, resting and relying uh, on the reward, the truth uh, of God's word that one day uh, God's people will be vindicated. Uh, and that again, the Bible says that at that point, every knee will bow and every tongue confess uh, that we're not, again, we're not rejoicing. Uh, in it. It should actually encourage us and spur us on uh, to be witnesses to try to win, continue to try to win people over uh, to Jesus Christ, to know uh, that the day is coming, the time is coming uh, when evil, uh, wickedness will be judged uh, and the righteous will be rewarded. And so my prayer for you today uh, is to continue, as Paul said, to focus on the prize uh, focus on the end of the race, the goal uh, that uh, God has put before us and continue to serve him. Uh, as the psalmist says in this last verse, uh, I'm afraid of thy judgments. What he's saying is, uh, again, is I don't want to be on, uh, I don't want to be on the judge side. I want to be on the rewarded side for living for him. Uh, and so today, keep your chin up. Uh, keep pressing forward again, uh, as Paul says, towards the prize, towards the mark, towards the high calling of Jesus Christ. Have a great day, and we'll see you back here tomorrow morning.